What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Descendant XROM and this is on the like latest build let me show you this is on Android 10 of course in the about section if you click on the Descendant version it will open the website and here as you can see this is the Descendant X version and here the device is Redmi Note 7 Pro of course and the Android version and stuff you can see from here the Android version is 10 of course let me go back the security patch is march 5th 2020 and the stock kernel is this some kind of z cry sa plus kernel and then the build number you can see from here this is the 21st march 2020 build which is this one i have flashed and this is the official build it does not need the g apps so if you want to flash this rom follow this video from this card and just watch the first part i have talked about most things about like flashing this rom well, if you are like encrypted on your Redmi Note 7 Pro, just use the latest Orange Fox Recovery Beta and wipe the cache, Dalvik system and data, then flash the ROM file and you can just reboot. You do not need any kind of encrypt disweller if your storage is encrypted. And I think you have to be encrypted to like flash these ROMs. Now, what's different in this ROM? Well, most of the things does look different over here. Let me show you one by one. If you're noticing the quick settings panel first, this is how it looks like. You can just like swipe to the right to get the more toggles and here if you are noticing you can only adjust the brightness from this slider if you slide over here as you can see you can adjust the brightness and these animations are like really small little things but they look really really cool and here the fonts i would say are really really small if you are noticing and you cannot really change the font size and stuff but let me show you if you go to edit you can add like more toggles from here and one more feature that is really cool is that you can like set these columns and row numbers from here as you can see you can change the columns and you can like have it four or five and you can also like column landscape you can change it from here and there is a show label if you do not want the labels to be shown you can select it and the labels will hide themselves and it also shows this kind of events over here now let me show you the power menu quickly this is how it appears and in the black theme and stuff everything looks really cool and over here we do have the advanced reboot and you can directly reboot to recover your fast boot or reboot the system UI from here now let me show you the volume panel this is how it looks like it appears on the side if you tap over here it appears as you can see this deep like by default it controls the media volume you can just like expand them like this looks really cool and you can control them it just like goes really fast so you have to be fast to use it and as you can see you can control the profile volume from here and you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here as you can see and you also have the live caption mode if you want that now one thing that really disappointed me is the stock camera this is the old kind of google camera which is present by default or the stock camera here so this i did not like and here as you can see i have installed the nx camera and this has been working fine even the front camera and stuff is working pretty great but videos and stuff is kind of like buggy as you can see it says can't connect to camera you can try this method which i have showed like with the nx camera to fix it if it may or may not work i'm not really sure i have not tried it but yeah the nx camera taking photos and stuff works fine now let me go into the settings and show you the settings panel over here the first thing which I'm going to show you is the battery settings. As you can see, everything looks a lot different from any other custom ROM over here. This is how it looks like and it can show you like the overall usage over here. Looks really cool. You can even click tap on it and see the all apps usage or something. And then like here we have the battery saver mode. Then we have the battery manager. This is how it is like stock Android 10 battery manager. Then the battery percentage you can elaborate from here. Then the descendant idle manager is there then the last full charge you can see over here and then the screen like usage full charge over here and 18 watt fast charging does work super fine and also like the whenever you plug in the phone it shows that charging animation like google pixel so that's really really cool in the display settings we have the brightness level and stuff you can adjust from here and here we also have the dark theme it looks really cool with the dark theme of course and you can change the accent colors which i'll show you later on and here we have the night light and even the toggles looks a little bit different and the night light of course does work super fine adaptive or auto brightness is there and in terms of the default live wallpapers which you get on evolution x and stuff they are not present and screen timeout you can of course adjust it and rotation settings 
we also have the 180 degree and 270 degree like kind of thing we have the screen saver and this thumbs up ui is really cool this is actually the one-handed mode so if you enable it everything like goes on the bottom and you can control everything almost with one hand as you can see you can just go over here and like every settings becomes like this as you can see you can just control every settings with your one hand so this is a really cool feature these i haven't seen like in any other custom rom this is a really cool feature let me quickly disable it and here we have the lock screen display and from here we can enable the like clock flow options and stuff and here we have the double tap to sleep on the lock screen option in the gestures and then we have some lock screen like notification settings show lockdown option and then the new notification option is there so that it wakes up like the screen with new notifications it does work but there is no always on display of course we do not even need it because this is a ips panel on the redmi note 7 pro and here we have the accent colors as you can see plethora of accent colors you get and like plenty of options you get of course and as you can see you can change to like whichever accent color you need and i'll just use the default one as of right now and there is this body fonts there are plenty of options too and in the icon shapes we have the tear down square kill and rounded rectangle and stuff and we have this styles app you can customize these things like the lock screen clock from here then you can choose a theme if you want to then the grid option is there and in terms of these wallpaper options as you can see this is the options and in the sound settings let me show you if you scroll down you get multiple things like this pause media and stuff so if you just like volume down your music it will automatically pause so these features are really cool over here and screenshot sound and stuff you can disable it from here and i would say there is no me audio direct i cannot really find it over here and in the sound settings there is this enable expand button volume so like if you press the volume button you will see a arrow over here if you're not noticing over here as you can see it will show a arrow and you can just expand it like this so this is a cool feature i would say for the volume panel and here in the security settings let me show you we have the fingerprint option of course and here is the fingerprint speed and i would say the fingerprint scanner works fine enough it's not bad at all the fingerprint scanner speed is decent and it unlocks like with most tries as you can see it's unlocking the device like pretty fast i have no complaints regarding the fingerprint scanner but it is not the fastest i would say now let me scroll down we have the system panel and here this is how it looks like we have the gestures and here we have the system navigation gesture and you can not hide the pill as you can see there is no hiding option for this pill gesture navigation is there and two or three button navigation you can use it of course and then the swipe direct screenshot is there if you swipe three fingers this is how you can take a screenshot looks really cool but this is not the oxygen OS kind of screenshot and if you go into the accessibility settings here you will find the volume key shortcut and stuff and let me go back and over here we have the font size customizer display font size dark theme is again here and some of the things are there like power button and scrolls and the auto rotate screen and stuff dwell timing is there let me go back we have the audio balance kind of thing like you can set the audio balance to left or right channel and the high contrast text and stuff these are pretty normal and this vibrator kind of option is pretty good we have this ring vibration and notification vibration or touch feedback you can control any of them from here if you want to disable notification vibration you can do that from here and i do not have a sim card in it but i would say the stock dialer and stuff looking like the pixel 4 dialer so yeah it is kind of really pixel like and you do not get the call recording options i guess and yes i don't have a sim card in it again but i have tested the safety net over here let me show you what's the results so as you can see it says safety net check failed so google pay or any other banking apps will not be working out of the box you will need the magic guide to like use the banking apps and with this led rgb remote app i have tested the ir blaster present on the device and i would say the ir blaster is working totally fine no issues whatsoever that i could find with the ir blaster and if you want to install google camera and stuff here is a card for you you can install that google camera 7 and it should work fine otherwise the ui seems to be pretty fine the battery life should be pretty good like six to seven hours of screen on time you can get and talking about the stock launcher this is the launcher launcher and you also have this like gesture double tap to sleep over here you can set this double tap to sleep and if you double tap anywhere it will lock the screen so this is a really cool feature i would say you can just double tap anywhere on the home screen and it will lock the screen and in terms of pubg graphic settings you can play on smooth and ultra then you can go balanced and ultra and there is hd and high hdr is of course not available and the gaming performance and stuff should be like pretty good as this as you can see it looks pretty fast and 
it should be like 30 40 fps pretty much so yeah like pubg performance should be normal and it should be pretty good now i cannot test the Antutu benchmark just because it just crashes on the redmi note 7 pro i have no idea why but yeah that's how it is and the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well should be pretty good the ram management is good enough over here on this rom and in the system panel you do not get any updater but you can update from the like recovery itself you can just download the full rom and flash the latest rom of course after entering your pin on the recovery and then you can flash the like latest rom and reboot like that's how you can like manually update this rom and all the notifications if you're noticing comes like this to the center and if i unlock even at the quick setting panel as you can see the top part of these like titles of the notifications comes into the center this looks really cool and you can clear the notifications just like this now some things which i have been missing on this rom is that like sliding a finger on the series bar and stuff but this is a different kind of rom this is not just customizations this custom rom looks really really like different or cool from any other custom rom out there like evolution x and stuff if you want the most customizable rom i would say go with the evolution x and stuff but if you want a different kind of unique looking custom rom you can definitely go with this descendant x rom so that's been it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kd and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now